So this video is an update to my previous video called Closet 5S, and I'm just going to show you a couple of improvements I've made since then, which is just a couple of days ago, and then go through the whole 5S thing, what that means. So the first thing I did is I got a longer screw for this because it wasn't uh, wasn't quite on there good. I found a brace here, and I found another wet floor sign that matches the other one. So you can see there's two here, so I got that hanging up there out of the way. I have a 36 inch dust mop, which was sitting on the floor before. And you see I've got a 24 on my dust mop handle, but I keep this up here so I can switch if I want to use the bigger one. And then I got a hook up here to hold the mop so that the mop's not sitting in the mop bucket like it was before. Now I can hang it up and now it's much cleaner, and you can also see there's some labels up there, and that gets us to the five S's, and the five S's are sort, set in place, shine, standardize, and sustain. So I'm going to go through each of those, and it's usually the set, this closet is an example, so you can see what that means. So the first thing I did is sort, so up here on this shelf there was a lot of extra stuff there were things down here in the sink there were just things everywhere so i went through and found all the things that i needed and then those are the things i'm going to find a home for the other stuff got chopped away so the next thing was set in order so i found a place for everything so i put some tags here to hold my uh, mop heads that i need for the day and then screws and braces to hold everything up so you can see all the way around so that there's nothing on the floor except for this bucket, which I'm using for the microfiber. And then uh, shine, which was cleaning off everything. And you can see here, well, you can see there's some paint ripped off here. So there were some signs up here and one here that uh, had been there for obviously for years and they didn't really mean anything anymore. So one of them was about keeping the dust mop in the closet. Well, we got the dust mop. Here and it's labeled now, so I don't need a sign to tell people to keep the dust mop here. And then the other one was about which dust mop to use where, but this is the only dust mop to use, so that was irrelevant. But the sign's been up for so long, it just ripped the uh, ripped the paint off of there because it was stuck for so long. But the shine part was cleaning off all these walls, which you saw in the previous video. They were brown and nasty, and uh, I had to get all the goo off from taking those signs down too. But now the walls are clean and shiny and yellow. And the sink was uh, nasty, so I cleaned that off. Also, I also had to clean off this hose, which had all kinds of stuff on it. You can see there's a little bit that didn't come off, but this was you know, all nasty and caked with various stuff. And now it's clean and black. So that's the shine. And then the standardized is just basically hanging up everything and giving everything a home. So. Like my, I said before, my rule of thumb is nothing goes on the floor unless it has wheels, or the mop bucket has wheels. This doesn't have wheels, but it's that's fine on the floor. That's just a rule of thumb, so it's got a standard system here. And then the last thing is sustain, and so that's why I have the labels here, so it's easy to put everything back in order. So you see, everything's got a label. We know where it goes. If someone else were to come in here, and use this closet, they would know where everything goes. When they take it out, they could put it back together. So it should be easy to sustain this closet as it is. And those are the five S's as applied to this closet.